Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can set up an environment variable on a Debian operating system. I'm also going to demonstrate to you how you can permanently set up an environment variable on a Debian operating system such that when you power cycle your Debian operating system, the environment variable will persist. Let's get started. I have set up a Debian container here on a Docker. So this is the same as running an uh, ssh command and dialing into your Debian here. So I've got the container for the Debian running. So I'm going to open my command prompt. Let's zoom up a bit more here. And then docker attach Debian test. So essentially I'm doing ssh into the Debian here, but this is a docker command for it. So if I do ls, you can see a full-fledged uh, Linux or Debian directives that are in there. So to see the existing environment variable, you type the word set. You can see oh, these are all the existing environment variable on the system here. So to, to set up an environment variable, you would type test equal one, two, three. And you do set here. You can see that the environment variable is there. To remove it, you go unset test. And if you go set again, you can see that the environment variable for test has been removed. Right, so that's one way to do it. So uh, let's uh, set up the test and um, test uh, environment variable and assign some values in there. Right, so if you go set, you can see it is there. But that's this uh, method of environment variable setting is only for this session. When you power cycle this Debian operating system, this uh, the environment variable will be gone. Let me show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna press Control D, and you can see this thing turn gray. So which means uh, I'm not able to connect to it because the container or my uh, Debian OS is stopped right now. So I'm going to go ahead and start my uh, Debian operating system which is turning green right now. So I'm going to reattach or SSH into my Debian. We are there now. But if I go look at my environment variable now after power cycling, you can see that the test environment variable is gone, right? So it's not really worth it to do that. So uh, there's been a lot of uh, uh, forum on the internet saying that hey use the word export it'll work right so let me show you what it shows like T export test say 2 to 369 or something like that yes on this session yeah the environment variable is there but as soon as you power cycle it by pressing ctrl d i'm gonna power cycle and this thing's gonna go gray see it's gone gray right and then i'm gonna start my operating system again one more time and then I'm gonna attach myself back in again there and if I go set to look at the environment variable you can see that the test uh, environment variable is not there so this is not a permanent solution okay let me show you how you do it uh, permanently so right now you're in a root directory right uh, so uh, you have to go to your home directory to look for a bash RC file so to do that you best you type uh, CD and tilde and you do LS with LS because the bash file are hidden, you can't see it. In order to see it, you press space, AL, hit enter. You can see the bash file is in there. So this is the file that you'll be editing. So if you do cat, just to see what the content of the file is, dot bash RC, you can see there's a whole lot of stuff in there, but they are all commented up. So now we're gonna use up your uh, favorite text editor. I have a vim in this uh, system here, dot dash rc now you're in an editor mode so to put your to put your environment variable you're gonna have to type export test equal say 4 8 12 then on the vim environment hit escape colon wq to save and exit so let's check and make sure that the uh, whatever changes we made actually went in cat is to show the content of the file you can see that file is in there so at this point if you type set the test uh, environment variable is not set yet this requires a power cycle so I'm going to press ctrl D this will turn gray simulating power cycle and I'm going to restart my Debian OS and now I'm going to reattach or SSH into my Debian container here now I'm in the Debian environment right so now if I type set you can see that the environment variable is there. I can reset power cycle again. Try again. 
and then uh, attach myself back in there again set you can see it's permanently in there right so that's how you do uh, set up uh, permanently set up your environment variable on your operating system so what if you want to add a concatenate uh, existing environment variable with your customized uh, text or whatnot right so let's say for example typical will be the path so you create a new directory and you want to add uh, another directory colon directory in there how do you do it right so the directory we'll be trying to add would be say a media right so we're gonna have to add colon media at the back here so the way to do it would be again go back to your home directory cd tilde and then ls minus al and you're gonna edit this again same thing right using your text editor now in here you're gonna have to type the same thing export export path which is the existing environment variable name and then you put dollar path colon which means uh, you take your existing path concatenate them and put a colon and say media is what you want to map it to then press escape colon wq to save and exit and then just to complete just check and see make sure that the edits that you made actually landed in there and just to make sure that you see that there's no media right now so i'm going to power cycle this guy Control d you can see this turn gray start my deep in test container now i'm going to reattach myself back to the container again and then type set you can see that my media directory is now concatenated in here so if even if i power cycle it again one more time right is this power cycle down again start again attach myself to the Debian container again and then to set you can see that the the path for the media has been there and also the uh, test environment variable is still there if this tutorial helps please like and subscribe other than that have a good day bye now